Let's bring in Jed Dorsheimer from William Blair. And they're not the ones, Jed, that we typically talk about, the big, the big sort of bellwethers in the chip industry. What are you choosing hey, and why? Hey, Sarah, that's right. So <clears throat> we're actually looking at silicon carbide, which is a compound semiconductor. And so this little material has a niche uh, that makes electric vehicles um, operate more efficiently. So you hear a lot about, uh, you know, limited copper and lithium. And this semiconductor will allow us to do more with less um, to allow that bigger trend to uh, to unlock. So you like what what's in here? Wolf Speed is one is one of the the makers, right? So yeah, if you look at the long term trends here, we like Wolf Speed on semiconductor and um, uh, Air Test Systems, which is a little equipment uh, company, uh, and we think that those three make up a cohort that will. Um, that will benefit from roughly a $2 billion market growing to a $20 billion market over the next uh, eight years. Are they less immune to the cyclical worries about this industry, which, which seem to really hit these stocks every time there's a concern about rising rates or, or also the geopolitical issues with the export controls around China? Actually, they benefit from a lot of that. So uh, when you hear about reshoring and the geopolitical challenges with China and Taiwan, um, that's prompting the U.S. and the CHIPS Act to look at a reshoring activity. So um, one of the questions is, if you have to reshore and start from scratch, do you go with a leading edge silicon uh, plant? And for analog semiconductors, we don't think you do. So we think that benefits silicon carbide. And they're kind of in a sweet spot of where we think growth is going uh, that benefits from some of the geopolitical uh, turmoil that we're seeing today. Interesting call. Thank you for joining us. Jed Dorsheimer. Thanks for having me.